that people have been asking since the time of balloons, how far does one travel? And today we are going to be answering that question. We are going to be putting this tracker onto a balloon. And how exactly that's going to work is you have the tracker inside here, and it's taped to the middle of the Ziploc bags, and we got some protection, I don't know what to call it, protection on the bottom. So when it drops, it will not break. And there's also um, a mini class plastic case around the tracker to protect it even more. But a, bit, a little bit about what the app looks like. So how we're going to track it. So we're back. And we are about to launch the balloons off. It has been a long day because we started with three balloons. It didn't work. It was too heavy. Then we went to eight. It's still too heavy. Now we have 20. No, 18. So we're just going to do some finishes touches. The tracker is in the middle of it. We're just going to do some finishes touches and then we're going to let it go. Okay, and you guys will be able to see where it's going on the app, if it works. It should, though. And it will update its location every two minutes. So you'll be able to see it, and where it goes, and see how far it goes. I'm scared. Okay. I mean, oh gosh, I'm scared. I guess there's... Okay. Yes. This is finally get the the question will be answered. How far does a balloon go? This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. <laughs> well, it's, it's going up. These are bad work. It ain't moving that much, but it, it's up there. Look, where is it going? gone. So we're back, and we took the balloon off. It's been a few days, and it's landed. It's not going anywhere else. And we are going to show you how far it went. First of all, before we do this, put your comments down, d down below in the chat, and wait for us to reveal it and see if you got it right, because... Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. This is where it started on this field right here. It kind of went like a round circle, or a circle over here trying to figure out where to go. Ignore this, this part, because this is just how we got there and the tracker recorded that history. But it kind of went around here, followed this arrow here. It went, it came over to this house, it went up over here, and it started going down this way. And this is, it went east. And we'll zoom out and you'll see, and it just followed this way, ignore all this. And it just followed this way. But here we go to show you. Here's the reveal of how far it went. Three, two, one. I'm gonna zoom out. It went so far. Look at this. It went all the way past the mountain range, down to pass, and into y Yakima. It's crazy. Okay. So here is it playing. It went, came over here, went across the range, over the mountain, almost all the way down to here in Yakima all the way down here and it went exactly that will tell you up here 95 days I mean <laughs> 95 miles 45 miles per hour is the max speed average speed was three the balloon like I mean it was it like eight it was 18 balloons in all because the tracker weighed a, like it was and now here's the really really weird part so we know where it landed and actually landed in a business and so we're, we tried to contact the business, tell them where it landed, see if they can retrieve it, and they can um, mail it to us, or we can go all the way out to Yakima and get it, which is a two-hour drive. It's 90 miles away. But you'll never guess where it landed. I searched up the place. This is really weird. 
it was a firing range. Isn't that odd? So, this place where it landed, it landed right here. This is a firing range. So, who knows what happened there? Someone tried to shoot it down. So that leaves a lot of questions. So, we're gonna, we might try this experiment again. If this video gets 20 likes, we will, for sure. And, except, we're going to send the balloon out at night. So it will, no one will, no one can pop it. We'll probably set it down at sunset so it'll travel in the night. So no one will see it, no one can pop it, nothing can happen to it. And so we'll have more accurate tests. And see how far it goes. Because who knows, it could go past Yakima, all the way down. Even, it's not, I'm not even Washington. It was really close to the border. In fact, it was cl it almost didn't land in civilization. Look at because this is the civilization. Here's the mountains right here. It gets cut off right here, so it was really close to landing in civilization. Because this is all mountains, and I'm pretty sure it went over snow. Obviously, this map isn't accurate, so if you don't see snow, because this this picture could have been taken any time by a satellite. But that's just crazy. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. And so put in the comments down below if you got the how long it traveled right. The total time was 95 miles. And that is just crazy to me that it actually traveled that far. I didn't even think it was going to go like 5. It's crazy. But if there... It'd be pretty cool to try it when the um, wind's blowing west. And see if it'll land in the ocean. But that probably doesn't happen because the wind will be blowing away from the ocean. But if that does ever happen and we launch it off, that'd be pretty cool. Because if it lands in the ocean, you don't know where it's going to go to. And this tracker has, like, worldwide GPS. So it doesn't matter where it goes, it'll be able to track it. And so, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. So remember, hit a like down below, and we'll try this experiment again. If it gets 20 likes, then we will. Okay, so we're back, and as I was sitting here, the guy called me, and he said that he has the balloon, and so we're going to send him an envelope to put it in. And so here are the pictures he took of the balloon and the trackers inside and just the red balloon. And so that's pretty cool. So remember to hit a like if we get 20 likes. We'll do the video again. Goodbye.